It is no secret that Israel is one of the world's largest weapons exporters. Although Israel is a relatively small country, it is the largest exporter of arms in per capita terms. A slightly less known fact is that Israel exports focuses on developing countries, on militias, countries under military embargoes and countries engaged in civil war. While the large weapons manufacturers are worried that breaking UN arms embargoes could lead to scandals, Israeli armed companies have been known to operate in the most controversial areas of the world. To demonstrate the loopholes in arm trade regulations, British documentary maker Mark Thomas invited Israeli arm traders to demonstrate a weapon in England, which they brought into the country labelled as agricultural equipment. Did you have much trouble with the... because um, I saw it was agricultural. Uh, we, we didn't want them to ask too many questions and then we have a special permit for one... For once, will you, will you, and the custom, did you have any difficulties? No, no. So it's the same. So do you, what, did you have a permit? No, no. So you didn't get we it? We just send it like this. Without a licence? Without licence. OK, OK. <laughs> you want to see somebody who can you, be there. Wow. It's very good, yes. I imagine you only need to use this thing a couple of times. Yes. And people get the idea. Exactly. So you, this is, you use it once, maybe twice, yes. they know you've got it. Yes. For warning. It's more warning yeah. than to, to hurt them. Could it kill them if they got in them? No. No. This no, is no. for not kill. Yeah. No. Not but if they were at ten yards... It depends where you no, get not, the uh, stone. If you got in the way of it, if I if I, if I was if I got in front of this thing and was here, and that hit me, ah, oh, if you stay here, I kill you. <laughs> so if yeah. I'm, wh how far is it? To li what, what? Ten, uh, twelve uh, meter. After twelve meter, if it's not coming here like Goliath, yeah, it's not killed. Could I say to you, we have an order because you've said. You don't. You, the, the, we didn't get a license mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that we we could export and use the term agricultural equipment to wherever we were exporting to? Uh, I think it's yes, it's the same way we did with this. Britain has some laws restricting who it can sell its weapons to. Officially, Britain is not allowed to break arms embargoes or to sell weapons to be used to repress civilians. The UK Strategic Export Controls published a report about Israel on June 10th. The seemingly technical document caused a stir when it mentioned requests by Israeli firms to purchase arms and components for arms for use by the Israeli army and for reselling. According to the report, during 2012, the UK has denied between 2% and 12% of Israeli requests for export licenses, partially because of the concern that these weapons will be used for internal repression against the Palestinian population which falls under Israel's obligation to protect under international law. Another very interesting revelation from the UK report is that Israel has made requests for export licenses in order to resell or to assemble components for exports to countries with which Israel has no diplomatic relations, even countries which the Israeli government refers to as hostile. Most notably, Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, Algeria and Morocco. After the story was exposed in the media, the Israeli Ministry of Defense promptly issued a denial that it sold weapons to Pakistan. It remained curiously silent regarding the other countries which reportedly buy weapons from Israel. The reason for the quick denial is that Israel is a main arms supplier to India. In fact, India is becoming one of the biggest arms importers in the world, and Israeli companies find India a key market for their products. The possibility that Israel is selling arms to Pakistan could infuriate Indian senior military and defense officials, who make the decisions which companies to buy from. If they choose not to buy from Israeli companies, it could be a major blow to one of Israel's most lucrative industries. for so long trusting friends and partners what more can I pledge to make a future strong I need to feel safe and sheltered secure
rapidly increasing arms trade between Israel and India has been presented in Israel as a strategic alliance against Islamic groups, but it had also created massive profits for both state-owned and privately owned Israeli military companies. A scandal erupted in 2009 when the Indian daily DNA exposed a system of bribes by Israeli companies to senior Indian officials who bought the Barak Mark 8 missiles with public funds, even though the official opinion of military professionals was that India has no need for these missiles. Despite the scandal, Israel continues to increase its arms sales to India and presents its wares in weapon trade shows held in India. This is your Hever for The Real News.